telling us about how you found your way into music. You know, I'd like to hear that a little bit. Well, how I found my way into music was completely different from how I found my way into the blues. Okay. But what I would say is that if you're a if you're a 63 year old guy like me, you were brought up in the TV generation. We watched television all the time. If we weren't mm -hmm. doing something our moms or dads wanted us to do, we were watching TV. And in the in the uh, in the 50s and early 60s, of course, we had these great TV themes. Much better than I think what's going on now, or mm -hmm. what's been even, even from the '70s on. I don't think any of that stuff was all that great. But back in the the '50s and early '60s, we had yeah, we had to, stuff like that. It up a <laughs> we had all that cool stuff. But yeah. but I guess what it was was that that twangy that that mm -hmm. you know just that twangy reverby yeah. mm -hmm. electric guitar sound. Uh -huh. I mean even even Bonanza, <laughs> yeah. the twelve string of Bonanza yeah, was yeah. this reverby twelve yeah. stringy twangy yeah. thing. I mean, it, I don't know. It just caught my ears. So, um, my mother was very musical, and she always had uh, radios playing and record players going, and um, there was always music in the house. And so, I guess it was a natural thing for me to to be uh, sort of immersed in it. Um, and all of that was really cool and all that and then you know we had the the uh, invasion of the Beatles and the British guys and so did you have a guitar at this point? Or? I was desperately trying to get one uh -huh. but you know my mother and my father said no you're going to play the <laughs> piano <laughs> you know and I just uh, at the in sixth grade I remember taking piano lessons and going God, I hate this. I am never going to get a girlfriend with this piano thing. <laughs> so, by seventh grade, okay, in seventh grade, I went to the junior high school dance in the public school auditorium and the gymnasium or whatever it was. And some buddies of mine that were a little older, a couple of classes ahead of me, had a band. And they, I'll, I'll never forget the name of it. They were called the Minus Four. Da -da. And the Minus Four was just a quartet. And these guys had all the, 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 the cool stuff. They had Fender guitars and uh, black-faced Fender amps. Mm -hmm. And they had Electro Voice 664 microphones right. and, uh, you know, the... the red sparkle drum set and the whole thing and those guys got in a coil chords remember coil chords they were just so cool why don't we have coil chords anymore <laughs> yeah. i always loved those yeah. anyway they had all that stuff and they got up there and sure enough man uh john harbison I'll never forget his name that guy was up there and he was screaming into that Electro Voice 664 and the veins were popping out on his neck and these guys were playing <laughs> Wooly Bully or whatever right. it was. They were playing. And these yeah. little seventh grade girls were just going apeshit. Yeah. And when you I said something to them. I said, huh? you know, this beats football <laughs> like, by a lot. Yeah. I want to do this yeah. the rest of my life. 